Hi everyone. So let's discuss about the Ricci's triangle. Here, the Ricci's triangle consists three factors. They are the environment, second host. And third pathogen. These three factors completes the disease triangle. And the plant disease, how the plant disease are caused? This clicks in the mind how the plant disease are caused. So the plant disease are caused by the interaction among susceptible host, abundance and virulence of pathogen. And favorable environmental conditions for a desirable time. So, if I tell you in a technical method, then you can learn it like the three factors which are responsible for disease triangle are are susceptible host into the abundance and the virulence of pathogen into the favorable environmental conditions for a desirable time. So these three factors constitutes the disease triangle which are essential for disease incidence and its development. This each side of triangle represents one of the three components. The size of each side is proportional to sum total of the characteristics of each component favoring disease. So we came to know about the factors responsing the plant diseases. So if the pathogen is virulent in nature and this virulent nature pathogen gets the favorable condition for a desirable time for their growth then this pathogen affects the host or infects the host so let me tell you about the disease triangle how this triangle shows the plants get diseased here you are seeing the pathogen, the pathogen virulent in nature and the environment favorable for a desirable time and the host which is susceptible. So if the pathogen is virulent in nature, if the pathogen is virulent in nature and in abundance, then if it gets the environmental conditions according to their need in short term if we say in favorable condition for a desirable time then the their growth cycle complete now they tends to infect the host because everyone needs their habitat to complete their life cycle so they also need their habitat to complete their life cycle so they move toward the host which are susceptible so if the pathogen is violent in nature and gets the favorable environment and host which is susceptible they causes the disease this is how the disease triangle gets completed and pathogen causes disease here yeah. so now let me show you another disease how another disease how the pathogen likes to cause disease based on three factors here pathogen is also in virulent nature second thing the here the environment is unfavorable for that pathogens who needs to complete their growth stage so if the environment is unfavorable if the pathogen is not getting the proper growth then 
it the next stage with that pathogens want to go they innovates the stage so here the host is susceptible and the pathogen is virulent in nature but the second factor which resists to get the plant diseased is the unfavorable factor of environment so this unfavorable factor of environment resists the pathogen to infect the host so it will cause the no disease and let me show you the another slide third factor are responsible for the disease so here the pathogen is a virulent here the pathogen is a virulent in nature means not in abundance and also a virulent means it is not a viral so now environment environment is favorable here non host immune so here the two things which are resisting the pathogen to infect the plant host is pathogen and non host non host means their host is immune nowadays our scientists are discovering the new new varieties of wheat rice means new varieties means the resistant varieties which resists the pathogen to infect their host of plant so this immune system means immune host means resistant variety of plant so this is how the plant disease triangle tells you about the development of disease now disease develop development on the basis of both man and host here let me show you this slide this is tetrahedron here this disease tetrahed disease tetrahedron explains how pathogen and environments are connected directly and man and host are connected directly actually man and host they are the same thing for pathogen x pathogen likes the man and host is also same thing pathogen is very very dependent on the environment for their growth that's why the pathogen is directly connected with environment so let me tell you about the disease development how the disease development happens like here pathogens are virulent in nature disease development needs three factors as i told you earlier and now again i am telling you with example like here disease development needs the pathogens virulent in nature such as fungi viruses bacteria phytoplasma nematodes parasitic higher plant these are some pathogens and if the host is susceptible environment favorable then they causes the development of diseases let me show you the another slide so that you may get properly about the disease development the disease development the classic disease triangle establishes the conditions for disease development so that the interaction of susceptible host a virulent pathogen and a favorable environment so these are three factors which tends to the development of disease next slide tells you about the plant pathogens so let me tell you about the general knowledge of pathogens what amount they are present in our earth or we discovered the nematodes several a hundred species several hundred species nematodes and fungi are about 10 to 15000 viruses are around 1000 species and bacteria are around 100 species 
the picture here shows the gem tubule how this pathogen just gets into the epidermis of gem tubule of plant and further the hyphae hyper discovers by the pathogen and the pathogen causes the development of disease like plant disease the, the that's why we discuss about the plant disease management the factor comes of plant disease management so plant disease management practices rely on anticipating occurrence of disease and attacking vulnerable points in disease cycle so plant disease management involves six points basically so first of all inoculum so that inoculation second pre penetration third penetration fourth infection and colonization fifth dissemination sixth overwintering so what does inoculation mean inoculation means introduction of microorganisms into cultural media now the basis for effective disease management are correct diagnosis first is correct diagnosis it is necessary to identify the pathogen then we will come to know about the disease second thing the knowledge of host pathogen interaction third the knowledge of environmental effects example apple scab outbreaks can be predicted based on the temperature and moisture condition like we all know the apple scab outbreaks or the fruit crackness appears due to the deficiency of boron and the moisture conditions if the moisture is content is high then the fruit cracking mostly appears on the fruit so and that's pretty much for this topic by the way everyone this is this is my first video on this channel hope you liked it to get more videos from this channel please subscribe and hit the notification button thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more videos thank you very much